We got to get to our opening night, the next night, October 17th, uh, right here on ESPN. Uh, the Pelicans take on the Rockets, followed by a showdown of rookie stars as Luka Doncic and the Mavericks take on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns. So, Chris, which matchup do you like better? Are you looking forward to? Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you, well, I got a Are pick. you rendered uh, speechless there? Oh. I, I got a pick. Let me go with the Pels and the Rockets. Obviously, the Pels coming off that surge, the way they finished the season and how they played in the postseason. Uh, you want to see if they can take that next step. Um, yeah, I'm going with Pels Rockets. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's about it. <laughs> tune that's in, a, people. That's a tune it's in. opening Please weekend. Please do, but yeah, that's all I got for you. Go ahead. Look, I, I, I'll, I'll take Maverick Suns. I want to see Luka Doncic. I really want to okay. see him play. I do, legitimately. Right. I want to see if he should have been the number one overall pick or, you know, if teams made a mistake passing up on Luka Doncic, I want to see what the hype is about, for sure. I definitely want to see that. Okay. I mean, we'll see if the rookies can handle. I mean, national TV debut, opening weekend, it's a lot of eyes going to be uh, uh, on those two guys. But um, that's not all we have for you on opening week. October 18th, it's a TNT doubleheader of Bulls at Sixers, followed by LeBron's Lakers debut on the road mm. in Portland. Rip City. Uh-huh. Then on October 19th, ESPN has a doubleheader of Celtics at Raptors, followed by Warriors at Jazz. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about LeBron shortly. I, I want to get to the Celtics Raptors first. Ohm, is this this an Eastern Conference uh, Finals preview as we talked about earlier? I mean, well, let's hope that Kawhi Leonard is healthy. Um, I definitely want to see the new look Raptors, how they're going to look. Obviously, we're still talking about the health of uh, Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, where they're going to be incorporating a very, very deep roster. How is Brad Stevens going to make that work? But I think all eyes are going to be on Kawhi Leonard for that game. Uh, people want to hype up the Raptors as the number two team in the East. I don't. I got the Sixers ahead of them, but I am interested to see how Kawhi Leonard is going to be and how healthy he's going to be. No, I, I agree with you there. I, that everybody, all eyes are going to be on Kawhi. But the, you know that Warriors Jazz, Donovan Mitchell, man, that guy is a bona fide stud. He, he's an all-star in my opinion. We talked about this yesterday. He, it's unfortunate he's just in the wrong conference to where he's not probably not going to get all those accolades he deserves early on in his, his career. But man, I was talking when, when Warriors were played Utah last couple seasons, all that Draymond and KD were talking about it was just how polished of a player Donovan was well, at this Jazz stage of career. Well, the Jazz beat him three out of four times, they right? They did, man. And, and Donovan, man, he gave him some fits. He gave him some problems. He earned the respect of elite mm -hmm. players in this league early on. So I'm definitely looking. And, and, prop, and props to Salt Lake City for getting, can I, can I mention this? They're getting a big game. I don't know if I can mention it. They're, they're getting a big game on a big day. Can yeah. we mention that? We yeah. can mention that Christmas Day game yeah. hosting the Portland Trailblazers. You mentioned it on Twitter yesterday. Oh, well, I, I didn't mention it here on the you jump. You know, sometimes you got to <laughs> act like you didn't do things. So I, I, I didn't know. But no, that's a big yes. props to Salt Lake City. Yes. I know I've been harsh on them as far as, you know, I'm saying that they're not one of my destination cities I like to travel to. But they deserve everything. Portland Trailblazers in Utah. I'm looking forward to it. Listen, that. the NBA clearly is trying to showcase Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. They're putting him on Christmas Day. No right. They are definitely saying this is a star in the making. And, and, and we'll talk about how basically Donovan spoke that into existence a little later. But we got to get to a big game. Opening week culminates with an ESPN Saturday primetime special. Rockets at Lakers for LeBron's home debut at Staples. You ready, Ohm? Oh, ready? man, I'm ready for Jack. I'm ready for Leo. <laughs> I'm ready for Denzel. All the stars to I come out and see LeBron on opening night against the Rockets. Yes, I'm definitely ready for that. This is going to be lovely. L.A. is back. L.A. Hey, is our guy Denzel. L.A. is you know, officially gonna be there. He's there back. every game. You have to love Jay? it. Jay? You have to love it, man. Yeah, but the, the, the whole thing is, it's like the biggest storylines or tucked away on, on the West Coast with Golden State and the Lakers. But look, man, I'm glad Showtime is back. I'm glad for LeBron because, and I'm glad for myself because I don't have to travel that far to get to some of the biggest storylines in the NBA. Uh, but do, on the Rocket side of things, okay, do you uh -huh. think they're going to be coming into this game with Looking to prove a little something. They, they will because, look, obviously they've heard all summer that we've been critiquing them about the players that they've let go. And we're not getting a lot of credit to the incoming players. Jeff Ennis, Carmelo Anthony. I, I, I'm not sold. I, 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 re I really fear for the Rockets. But I, I, uh, I definitely think they're going to be in the thick of things when it comes down to the latter part of the season. But I'm just concerned from a defensive standpoint that they might have lost a step or two. 
And if you lost a step or two with Golden State being where they at, and then assuming DeMarcus Cousins come back to all-star form, I just don't like their chances. But I, obviously we can be proven You know what wrong. I like about that Lakers-Rockers matchup is that all offseason the Lakers explained their, meeting, their, their, their signings is that they wanted to improve their defense so they could guard the likes yeah. of Harden and Gordon and Chris Paul and then Golden State. So you want to see what Lance is going to be able to do against James Harden. You want to see what KCP, JaVale McGee, all these guys they added, what they're going to be able to do. It's, a, it's an early measuring stick for the Lakers. I'm just excited for a Saturday night in October. I hear you. Dedicated to the NBA. I hear you. It don't get no better. <laughs> no.